At the Guam Football Association Training Center, PNC Sports sat down with Captain Jason Cunliffe, Ian Mariano, Mark Chargaloff, Marcus Lopez, and Scott Leon Guerrero, members of the Matau, and got their thoughts on the team and the progress it's made. From before Gaffer, you know, everyone would just come back uh, like a month before the tournament, whereas now, you know, people are training year long. You know, we have a few professional players. So, I mean, we're training at high levels rather than just training a month before the tournament. So, yeah. Um, to add on to his point, uh, basically, it's we have more things to look forward to, we have more motivation. You know, we're playing with the best that can play for Guam, and, you know, that's a good feeling. Everything we're doing is working, you know, so if at any point anyone questioned the system or didn't buy into it all the way, this now gives them that, okay, you know, like what we're doing is we're doing the right thing, it's working. Um, now we have to keep, keep putting in the work because what's the next step? You know, that's not our end game. Um, now it's, you know, who, who can we beat next? So I think for us in East Asia, that mark is Hong Kong, you know, and then from there we'll see. That's how I get a lot of support uh, from the Philippines. It's, it's nice. Even the, the local players in the league, you know, people tweet all day over there and, you know, they send me tweets, you know, congratulations after the match and, you know, keep doing what you guys are doing. You guys are, you know, um, making, making them proud, you know, because we're part of the UFL, so. Um, locally, I'm a coach for the academy and I coach the little kids. And uh, we always watch the game before, like, we go to training sessions and you see how excited they are and they're really, they're really, uh, you know, happy to watch the game and they're talking about it and talking about us players and the numbers and, you know, like how, how fun the game was to watch. And that's something that makes me proud when I see the, them talking about us. And it's a big change from before where no one knew who we were. Um, especially on Guam, you know, soccer wasn't the big sport, you know. But now it's become more, you know, recognized and people are like, oh, you're part of the Mattel? Oh, that's awesome. Like, I just heard congratulations kind of deal. And so it's kind of like you could see that switch, especially like um, immediately with like friends and family, you know, people who didn't know what you were doing. Now they know and they want to get involved. They're always, you know, willing to support you. So, yeah, there's that big change.